welcome again students welcome to reels biology and in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about a very important cell organelles which is uh, related to the cell divisions and uh, the name of this cell organelle is centrosome which is consists of centrioles and centrosphere so it is very important cell organelles required for the cell divisions uh, so in this video we are going to learn about centrosome so if you want to learn about centrosome then please don't skip this video and watch the like okay so what is centrosome centrosome is simply a cell organelle which is important for cell division important for cell division okay and uh, this is not a membranous cell organelle or this not uh, have a membranous structure okay this cell organelle is uh, devoid of the membranous structure and this cell organelle or centrosome is present only in the animal cell except mature rbc except present in all animal cell except mature rbc okay and uh, they are but they are absent in plant cell except absent in plant cell but the exception is or uh, they are present in antherozoid zoospores antherozoid and zoospores of certain uh, algae as usual some bryophytes okay Useful in algae like uh, Chlamydomonas, okay, and then some bryophytes as usual, as usual some pteridophytes, okay, but they are absent in uh, uh, fungi. They are absent in other algae as usual. Uh, they are not present in. Uh, some gymnosperm as usual the angiosperm so they are devoid in plant cell and this cell organelles was first discovered by T. Venden okay in 1887 and the structure of the centrosome was uh, discovered by or given by Poveri okay so this is about uh, or the background of centrosome now let's start what is the structure of the centrosome okay so what is the structure of the centrosome centrosome is a cell organelle consist of centriole plus centrosphere okay centriole and centrosphere and each centriole and or centriole is a barrel separate structure or barrel separate granules which are present uh, each other by a 90 degree angle okay so they are the centrioles and this region uh, which is surrounded the whole centrioles is known as the centrosphere or the pericentriolar matrix or this is the pcm or centrosphere okay and the centriole consists of nine 
microtubular structure or nine microtubules okay so what are the microtubules microtubules are the cytoskeletal structure which is made up by tubulin proteins there are certain tubulin pro proteins present in the eukaryotic cells known as the alpha tubulin beta tubulin gamma tubulin etc okay and uh, the pericentriolar matrix or the dense region is consist of three proteins one is nine in another is pericentrin another is and the last one is gamma tubulin okay so what is the job of the centrosome centrosome job is the to divide cell or to help in the cell division okay rather than this word so how they help in the cell division at the time of the division of the cell uh, they are actually in a g1 phase or in cell cycle uh, in g1 phase the centrosome number is 1 and when uh, the s phase uh, is present and what is on the time of the s phase the centrosome structure or the centrosome become double or the replicate they are divided of dna and rna any type of uh, dna and rna actually but they can replicate in the s phase okay so this is the centrosome and the centrioles and they form some microtubules okay they form microtubules which connect one centriole to another and by the help of this microtubule structure or the astral ray the chromosome or if this is one uh, a pair of the chromosome and the sister chromatin can be moved okay so let's assume this is a centriole structure in end of one cell okay this is the chromosome and this chromosome and sister chromatin are separated in the time of the anaphase remind in the time of anaphase so centrioles are consist of nine microtubules each consist of three subunit of proteins or the tubulin proteins so okay if you have a cross section of the centrosome or sorry centrioles we can see a different structure like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 nine microtubules present in the peripheral manner and each are connected a central half okay in case of uh, cilia and flagella there is two uh, half but there is a central half in case of centrioles and they are connected by some spoke of protein and uh, each are there are two actually it each are three or three subunits are the triplet uh, tubulin proteins this model of the centriole or the cross section of the centriole shows this type of features it is known as the cartwheel model known as cartwheel model right but you can ask me a question that is if a uh, centrosome is absent in the plant cell but present in the animal cell animal cell can easily divide but how the plant cell divide devoid of the centrosome there is a good question but the answer of the question is in case of plant cell there is no centrosome or centriole type of structure but they have a structure known as MTOC or the microtubule organization center by the help of this MTOC the uh, spindle fiber can be formed uh, and the chromosome can be separated in anaphase and cell division 
can takes place okay so what is mtoc mtoc is not the singular structure there is a dense region consist of uh, any type of various type of proteins will which helps uh, to for uh, in formations of the microtubules okay so there is mtoc right so by the help of the mtoc the chromosome can attach uh, in with the microtubule okay and the uh, chromosome in separate or sister chromatid become separate in the time of the anaphase and the cell division is completed okay so this is the idea of the centrosome or the overview of the centrosome as usual the centrioles so what is the basal body the basal body is a structure which is gives rise to cilia and flagella in which is a highly conserved centriolar structure that give uh, gives rise to cilia and flagella so this is the overview and the complete idea on centrosome and centrioles so hope you like this video and if you like this video then please hit a uh, thumb and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, stay happy keep learning thank you